Just slap on a brown fedora and give me a whip. Why? It's time for Indiana Ben Jones and the Legend of the Golden Mask. Hey there everyone, it's Mr. Q, your front of guitar here, and today we're gonna be talking about the Golden Mask, aka the Batula. So you've probably seen some older ladies, maybe some grandmas walking around with this metallic mask and wonder, why do they wear it? Well, before I get into that, first of all, let me just go ahead and say it is not a Batula, it's a Batula. If you said Batula, then I imagine that there's bats involved. Batula man! So what's it used for? This is something that dates back to centuries ago. This traditional face mask was used for a number of reasons. We're talking about modesty, purity, and to protect yourself from the sun. So back in the day, younger women would wear this as a coming of age and to reflect their modesty. But nowadays, it's the older generation and typically grandmas that prefer to wear this on a daily basis. And I'll tell you what, if you think about it, this is like a reverse COVID mask because it protects everything except for your mouth. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and mention that this is not worn by men. During the World Cup, uh, some men decided to go to Sugwagif and they were wearing this around. And listen, it's cute, but it's not for you, okay? <laughs> But why is it designed in such a way? Well, it's designed to mimic the falcon's beak. And as you know, we love our falcons. <coughs> Took my arm. Now the batula can come in different sizes, but typically it would cover your brow, cover your nose, and uh, a little bit of your mouth. At least that's what I remember from my grandma, God rest her soul, when she would wear the batula. Now a lot of people might be tempted to say, hey, wait a minute, why is this so gold? Is it made of metal? Actually, no. This metallic shine is uh, all fabric. It's just super, super thin fabric with that weave and uh, it's got a little bit of a plastic back to it. Now a traditional batula is typically just one color. In some areas, they do have different patterns. So where can you buy a batula? Well, the most obvious place is Sug Wagif, but of course, if you go to any of the Qatari locations where you could find maybe Abai and Ashela, you can ask them for. A batula. You see, the batula is so important in our culture that you can actually find lots of different art and sculptures representing this symbol. So if you go to the NMOQ, that's the National Museum of Qatar, you'll find a giant silver batula. So you can go ahead and check that out. And if you want, you can go to Qatar, where you'll find a woman wearing a batula drawn on the wall. I also wanted to mention that you can check out Mbarak Al Malik's art, which is all about the Batula. Now, while the Batula is special to Qatar, you can also find neighboring countries like Bahrain, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Oman, and even Iraq and some areas of South Iran where they wear this too. And now we can see a lady try to put on the Batula. See. How do you feel? Okay. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to share. And you see that bell over there? From a certain angle, if you like cut it in half and then like duplicate it, it looks like a batula. Nice to love it.